What's up guys, this is Jay from JS Films and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Sigma 20mm 1.4 Art Series lens. Alright fellas, let's get this started. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but this Sigma 20mm 1.4 is the fastest 20mm Canon mount lens available. In addition to this Canon version here, Sigma also created one for Nikon F and obviously Sigma SA mounts. This lens should cover full frame 35mm cameras. But if you were to use this on a 1.6 crop sensor like a 60D, your point of view should be around 32 millimeters. So keep that in mind. If you want something else wider than that, don't get this lens. It has hypersonic AF motor for the noob skis like I and manual override for the pro skis like you. It has nine rounded blades so you can have that circular bokeh that everyone and their mama wants. Minimum focus distance is 10.9 inches and it weighs 950 grams, or 2.09 pounds. That's actually heavier than the Sigma 18-35 millimeter. Weird. I really like the feel of the lens. It was really heavy and well made, but then again, all the Sigma art lenses were made like this pretty much. And now I'm gonna be testing the autofocus feature. Now, keep in mind, this is only 1080p because my full frame camera has an adapter and that affects the autofocus capabilities of the camera. So I went my with my Canon 60D for this test. What I did was I set the minimum focus distance first and I'll let it go and find the box. The second one is actually the opposite. I went to the furthest infinity focus in the lens and let it find the box. Now that you guys saw what this lens is capable of, it's time for me to share my thoughts. When I first looked at this lens, in B and H, I thought I was going to be able to screw in an ND filter in front of the lens because the website said that there is a 77 millimeter filter thread in front of this lens. However, when I tried to screw in a filter in front of this lens, it did not work. If you know how to do it, please let me know, but I could not do it because the glass in front of the lens is actually sticking out and you cannot screw in anything in there. Now the only way you can use filters with this lens is obviously if you have a matte box and I'm not trying to do that. So that's number one. The second thing I didn't like about this lens is the lens hood which is built in. Now I knew that the lens hood was built in before I purchased it but I didn't realize how big it was. It's pretty big. I think the lens cap that comes with it, the rubber lens cap, is maybe about 82 to 84 millimeter. It's pretty bulky, so make sure you keep that in mind before purchasing this lens as well. Now overall, the lens performed well because it is a Sigma Art series lens. However, I'm really not sure about the whole filter thread design that they went with. I know that Sigma created this lens for still photographers, but the Sigma Art series are really good lenses for video as well, so I'm not sure why they went with that protruding glass. Like always, thank you all for watching my videos and let me know if you have any questions.